Hey guys, it's Wesley with 22 Zines, and I'm going to be showing off my desk, my art space, my tarot space, and just some of the like special little magical spaces in my apartment. <laughs> I know that a lot of uh, tarot tube people have been doing this lately, and I've wanted to do it, and honestly, like, you know, I, I just needed to clean a little bit. <laughs> Like, it's one thing to be, to just, you know, have a few things lying around, which I definitely do, but, like, this is the cleanest that my spaces have been in a long time, and I don't want to have to shuffle through a whole bunch of stacks just to show you what I actually want to show you. So, first of all, my apartment is never this clean, and my art space is never this clean, and my tarot space is never this clean, and usually I've got a bunch of zines and art projects and tarot decks lying around scattered all over the place just from where I've ended up using them, and I'm generally very comfortable like that. But since I just did a big clean, and wow, it is uh, at a place that it's like reasonable <laughs> to show it off, then I'm going to do it. So yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around. I'll do my best to keep it not too shaky. I've sort of rigged up like this, uh, this thing with this a uh, uh, gooseneck thingy that I have for recording. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first we'll start off with my art space. And basically, this whole room is, uh, it's like a little, I guess, side closet. It's a little weird to call it a closet because it is rather large. Um, let me try to back up a little bit and see how well I can get you. This is the roof because um, we're on the top floor. And so this is like where the roof slants off and it's got a lesser slant in the main hallway, but it's like, I guess you just call it like a spare room that we have, um, on the side. So, um, let's see, how am I going to do this? Um, here is basically, this is what you see when you first walk in. So my back is to the door right now. And this is just like my grandma's coffee table. And I never quite knew what to do with it. And so recently I have set this up. Um, and it's worked pretty well <laughs> because the thing is, it's not really comfortable to sit on the ground, even with a pillow, as you can see over there for too terribly long. It's not really comfortable to do tarot readings or anything. And it just felt like I, like I needed to keep this table for sentimental reasons, but it was taking up a lot of space. And so I'm basically using it as like a makeshift bookcase, which is great because my bookcases were overflowing. So right now I have all of my manga lined up here, and then just a few extra things that I think are fancy. This box is really cool. I got it in a trade at a zine fair. It's so cool. It's so pretty. I don't have anything to put in it yet, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I need to come up with something because I just really, <laughs> I really like it. I love this, this crazy 80s kind of cover. This is a replica of the Rosetta Stone that was my dad's, and it's at one half scale, and I love it a lot. This here is just like a stack of stuff, a book that my friend lent me to read, some manga that I'm currently reading, and a stack of zines, because what would my room be like without stacks of zines everywhere? <laughs> okay, um, now to the boring part. I've got my printer over here. So this is the door to the outside. I've got this printer, which I'll have to look up. What is it called? Like the Epson EcoTank ET4800. It actually has worked really well. And so it's nice because it's got these like refillable ink bottles that you pour into it instead of refilling cartridges. I don't know why I'm spending all this time talking about my fucking printer, but like, <laughs> anyway, stacked up here is like some stuff that I've been meaning to scan and just literally have not gotten around to. I've got some paper that I use for zine printing on the bottom. Um, this is like my leftover shipping materials thingy. And before we get to the main stuff, this is, hang on, I gotta back up, I gotta back up, backing up. This is the other side, so it's just like got some art stuff on it. I got that from Lavender Menace Press in a trade at a zine fest. Um, some of these are like really old that I've had for a while. I got that at a trade at like a goth event. Um, that picture of Kramer <laughs> was, I basically like saw him spying out behind, <laughs> spying at me from behind the uh, counter of a uh, 
like a used record store when I was visiting Seattle and I was like, dude, is that Kramer? And they're like, what? It's like Kramer's staring at me and they're like, oh, you want him? Like, yeah, sure. They're like, get him out of here. And so he's been with me ever since. This is my big giant zine shelf. Oh, I have a skylight, which is really cool. Big giant, zine, big giant jean shelf. <laughs> um, so up here, just some old notebooks and binders and stuff. Here I have some books that don't fit anywhere else, and I've sort of vaguely tried to organize them by being artistic. And then I've got my zines. So these are my primary boxes of zines, and I've shown off my organization system for them before, and this will have to expand at some point, and I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> and then I've got just some oversized books down here. Now to the interesting stuff. <laughs> so this is like in the corner of my little art space. Um, let's see. This is a hand-me-down gamer chair. Super fabulous gamer chair. <laughs> and I really like it because the bottom, <laughs> those little stars look like pentagrams, and I think it's hilarious. Um, I guess behind, this is just like, there's not really anything to do back here. There's not room to do anything and not really space for storage. So it's just kind of this fancy, um, curio cabinet shadow box kind of thing that I've been carrying around since, I don't know, like, while I was still at my parents' house and just filled with a couple of little decorative things, a few necklaces, a painting that I haven't known where to hang. This is by Sam Ray Duke. Uh, <laughs> and they actually did this for me, like, many, many years ago. <laughs> um, just some large art stuff and big pieces of cardboard. Here, I'm leaning on the bean bag. <laughs> Here is my big zine and paper, not just zine, but like art supply and paper storage system extraordinaire. <laughs> um, so on the top here, I mostly have some unfolded zines, zines that have been printed, but I just haven't folded them yet. Um, here I have a big stack of zines that I've been meaning to show off in their own video and some other random papers. Um, this really fancy art paper that looks super good <laughs> that I want to keep rolled up. And then here I've tried to organize. This is like all of my plain papers. This is my zines to giveaway or trade, like basically my de zine declutter section. Um, this is like random tarot cards and cards and, and postcards and things that I like to stick into envelopes when people order zines for me or when I'm doing uh, trades. And then here it's just like some random art supplies. This is like my, this is my, I don't know what to do with this art box, which is like a bunch of art that I've drawn or copied or have extras of or used in a project. And now I just don't know where to put them. <laughs> so it's, it's honestly nice to have a place to put those now. This is my sort of the same thing, but for collage things, not all of them are mine. Um, this I got in a trade, but most of them are mine. And, and so it's like larger things like collages, um, paintings. Yeah. Just like my random, my random art that I've made box. Um, and then this is like my sentimental box of a whole bunch of random crap that I don't know what, what to do, but I'm not getting rid of because it's sentimental to me. And then this thing, I have reorganized this thing so many times. This is where I keep all of my collage supplies and zine making supplies. So all the little bits of paper, I've just, I've kind of been doing them by size now. So I just showed you like small, medium, large. Um, this is like extra large, which, or extra large or background kind of, what was this? Uh, no, this is just like extra large. <laughs> this is random backgrounds or, or like solids or things that aren't quite like a centerpiece that are smaller than a half letter. This is the same backgrounds and, and stuff that's not a centerpiece that's larger than a half letter. This is like solid comic books or things that I go through to cut out, but, you know, I don't know what to do with all the leftovers yet. And then this is just like a bunch of art from other people 
that I'm storing, which I sometimes like to rotate and put on my cork board. So I guess we'll go to the cork board next. Move in the chair so I can scooch over. <laughs> Not a super large space. This is my big giant cork board and I love it very much. I guess <laughs> there's probably not really time to go and show off every single bit of it, but a lot of these are from trades. A lot of these are just like extra little bits and bobs that I've gotten in zine orders or whatever, and some of them are my own art. So let's see. I really like this this lady. Um, <laughs> this is like a, another lady that... I drew in a page of my planner. Um, I don't want to watch the sunset. I want more zines. <laughs> um, what else do I have here? This is a postcard from Nina at Echo Zines. Um, this is my boyfriend Sean and my grandma Sky. <laughs> and I, this is my absolute favorite picture of either of them because it looks like a fucking moody album cover. I don't know. My grandma kind of hated this picture because she didn't like when I took a picture of her smoking, but like, grandma, if you're gonna smoke anyway, I can at least make you look cool while you're doing it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's about it. Just like some other random doodles, uh, random cutouts. Yeah. Um, here's another art piece that I don't think I've ever shown, but I really, really like it. I did it a while ago. It says, I can't keep still any longer. I want to see with my own eyes. <laughs> this is like a Halloween decoration that my sister got me. Um, and it's just like the perfect size to hold a little tarot deck. So I just keep that there. A lion I got at the thrift store. A lion that I have a stuffed animal. That, his name is Lionel. And I've had him since I was a little kiddo. And he roars. Hang on. All right, all right. I didn't mean to show you on camera. It's okay. Um, yeah. And then this is basically just like a little, a little box, uh, a little, a little shelf thing that I got at a thrift store where I store, uh, a good stack of my, my own zines that are folded and ready. So whenever I'm putting together a, um, you know, an, a, a package with my zines, then I can just grab them and put them all in pretty easily. These are some minis. Yeah. Got a stool back here. This is my recycling bin, which gets full very often. <laughs> um, okay, and now, whoa, sorry, sorry, hang on, we're back, we're good, we're gravy. Some more art up here. Jolie Ruin, Jolie Ruin, I have a lot of Jolie Ruin art here. <laughs> that rude girl's one of my favorites. Here I have just like some random art supplies, and I've tried to mostly organize it. This is like canvases and, and 3D objects, painting supplies. That's just like my scale and some envelopes. And now here's like the, the money shot. Here's the good shot. This is my desk. Um, I spilled a bunch of white ink there. <laughs> Literally like yesterday. Um, while I was trying to do an art project. So it'll come up, probably, and if it doesn't, then whatever. Um, so I've got, like, two, these two drawers on storage, and these are basically just, like, drawers from Ikea, and then a tabletop from Ikea without any legs. And this is actually a hand-me-down from my brother-in-law, so <laughs> that's, like, <laughs> that's that. I made this recently, um, for a very specific episode of My Little Pony where Fluttershy looks like a goth. <laughs> I got, let's see, this little box is like a bunch of, um, you know, zine booklets that, you know, I'm going to keep, but I don't really reference very often. So I just kind of keep them here to look pretty. Um, let's see this. Sometimes I keep a tarot card here. Sometimes I don't. Um, that's from the Alchemical Visions tarot which is fucking giant. It's like postcard size. Um, this is sort of just like a special little, I don't know, I guess you'd call it like an altar to my dad. And it's probably hard to see in this lighting, but I've got these little lights that light up um, and it looks really cool at night. So that was my dad. There he is holding a little baby lion. And uh, this is my dad's like urn, <laughs> not to bring down the mood or anything. And then right here, 
is sort of an alter, I guess, to my um, cats from childhood. I have a zine, actually, that's coming out. Coming out. I should say it like I'm fucking releasing something. But, you know, like, I have a zine. It's actually 100% ready. I just haven't done any printing test runs yet. So I'm waiting to actually put it up. But it's called... Um, uh, Die Toten Katzen Gemütlichkeit, which means, like, the dead cat's comfort, and, um, I guess I'll talk more about that later, but these are my kitty cats, um, wisdom, rhyme, and reason. Let's see. These are really special, too. Um, these are two little pieces of marble from the quarry where Michelangelo got the marble for the David. And so these were sent to me by my great aunt um, as a birthday gift. And I'm very, very happy with those while she was visiting there. And um, this is, I guess you'd call it another altar that Ganesha was my grandma's and then just like a bunch of lions. There's my skylight. <laughs> it's got this little thing that hangs down. And so I've hung this little Libra scale off of it. I'm a Libra. And... This was my grandma's that she had in her kitchen just for, like, fruit and stuff. And I always loved it. And I would see it and I was like, I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra. You have a Libra scale in your kitchen. Um, yep. Here's Dana, my, uh, the lion. And um, just, like, my little rat skeleton Halloween uh, <laughs> Halloween thingy. Um, and then I, you know, still manage to have some stuff on my desk. <laughs> like, um, this is just, like, some art that I'm working on. Um, a few random tarot decks. Oh, I forgot to show off this area. Okay. These are just, like, some random tarot decks that get left out <laughs> sometimes. Um, let's see. This is Fat Cat, who accompanies me on tarot readings. I've got some of my own postcards and stickers that I like to include in things, and then just some random stuff. <laughs> these are my pen jars. Um, these are like, these are the pens that I use most often. These are the pens that are kind of dying on me, but I feel like I could still use them for something. And these are just like regular clicky pens. Um, this is my pencil sharpener. He's a beaver. <laughs> and um, just like a little thing from my other brother-in-law. <laughs> it's like a little, I can't quite get a good angle on it, but you know, it's a cherry blossom made out of rocks and wire. Um, yeah. And then just, like, my paint jars <laughs> over there. Okay, is that, like, a good enough... good enough thing? Oh, 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 I forgot about these two. Um, these are just some journals. <laughs> this is sort of my note-taking while I'm learning about things journal, so, like, my nonfiction note journal. These are just old personal journals, um, like, they're full, and I don't write in them anymore, and I, so I, I just don't know where to put them. But I have I have my other one, my current one's right here. Um, this is just, like, a little art journal that I am still working on. This is an art-slash-magical journal grimoire that uh, my friend Emily at Raven Relics made as, like, made custom for me, which... Oh my god, it's so good. I'll I'll link you to, like, the full flip-through if I can remember, <laughs> because it, it's really cool, and obviously it's, like, more full now. And this is, like, my other grimoire, I guess. <laughs> my first grimoire. Um, let me just pull this one out, because I just don't know how I'd be able to describe it. It's really, like, it's, like, my important things journal. And this is when I started it, and then when I'm done, I'll write the date that I finished it. But it's basically just, like important thoughts from my random scribbly journals that I think are worth trying to um, sort of keep longer term, I guess. So yeah, my important thoughts journal. And that's pretty much it for this room. Let me, let me see if I can get like a decent panorama. See if I can like get the whole thing in one. It is kind of a small room, so it's not the easiest to, like, film this sort of thing in. But yeah, that's my art room and desk. And now I will show you a few other little magical spaces in my house. Oh, I almost forgot. The door is almost always open, so this is usually what I see from my desk. <laughs> um, and it's just, like, my bike helmet, my battle jacket, and a... Um, I always forget what these are called, but you know, a bag that 
is made to hold pins in the front. Um, yeah, I just call it my werewolf bag. <laughs> okay, so now we're in my hallway, so it's going to be more echoey. Um, and this is just like a special little spot that's near the stairs to the front. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just go through the items. Um, giant Lord of the Rings poster, that was my grandma's which is literally just leaning up against the wall, and it's fine. This is Honey Bear, and they were also my grandma's very large, <laughs> very large stuffed bear. Say hi, Honey Bear. Um, okay. And this drawer was also my grandma's. She used to hold her sheet music in it, some of it. She had, like, giant file cabinets, but this is, like, her nice sheet music, and I just use this for, like, pillow storage and stuff. Um, but yeah, here's just, like, another little artsy space with some art that I have um, traded for. I love this little frame. I got it at a thrift shop. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, and same with like this little candle holder back here. It's got these little raccoons on the on the handle, <laughs> just like glued on, which is cool. I don't think I've ever lit this candle and I probably never will. It's more for aesthetics. <laughs> um, this is a little otter carving that I got while I was on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington, as well as some little driftwood pieces that are like driftwood wands, I guess, from the same area. These guys are still works in progress, but they're little model wolves and werewolves. This whole area is just kind of like my general werewolf theme, I guess, and I guess I'll show this one off. I painted him myself. Sean's the model painter, so he's way better than I am, but like, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of how this guy turned out, and I even got his little eyes and his little little gums, so he's pretty small, and I've got like six others that I still need to work on, and I have to do the bases, and whatever. They're just kind of hanging out here for now. Um, this is my childhood dog, Loki. <laughs> um, this is a really cool uh, work from the artist who did the Heartspun tarot. Okay, actually, <laughs> this is a rose from my grandma's garden that was from the rose bush that her grandma um, grew. And so my grandma transplanted the rose bush and managed to save it, which is incredible. And so she preserved this rose. And then when my grandma died, <laughs> I am not very good at preserving roses and the season was off. Um, but I preserved this little baby rose um, from my grandma's rose bush. So it's it's actually from the same rose bush, but you know, to me it was my grandma's and to her it was her grandma's. So yeah. This is a little cactus heart. This is a candle snuffer that looks like a branch. This was my grandma Sucre's uh, watch and a geode from my dad. Um, this is like the part of the Sucre family silver quote unquote it's not really silver but you know <laughs> it kind of looks like it and then i just have some lord of the rings dune and uh discworld books up here just because um they fit well they look nice and i need any book overflow that i can take um and you know what i'm gonna pull this out so i might cut here for a second depending on how easy this is okay that wasn't too bad this is Okay, this is a poster for my grandma's uh, musical. She wrote the music alongside the uh, writers for an all-female contemporary adaptation of Mary Shelley's classic horror story called Victoria Frankenstein, <laughs> which is so, so cool. And I really wish that I had been alive to see it. At the other end of the hallway, um, this is, whoops, this is my dog's favorite rug that he likes to sit on. This was a painting of the Isle of Skye. My grandma's name was Skye, and so she had this painting when she lived in Wales, and so I have that here. Um, and then this is just like another little special spot with some special things. Sorry, it's going to be even more echoey over here because we're closer to the other side of the stairs. This is Cousin. I've got lions all over my house. <laughs> um, and most of these rocks are just kind of either I got them myself or they're hand-me-downs from my dad. These are malas that my aunt made for me and my partner, Sean. Um, and they're really lovely, and so I like having them here to be able to to access them, but also have them look pretty when I'm not 
like using them or fiddling with them. Um, this is sort of like the ocean ish, <laughs> the ocean ish one. Um, yeah, I feel like I don't have much to say on these. Sorry, I'm gonna get a little shaky because I gotta get on my knees here. And then this is another spot. That Dragon's Lair thing is from our fish, Seamus, who has sadly passed on now, but um, he was a dragon. He was very large. He was a very large leopard placostomus um, <laughs> that we loved very much, and he hated other fish. <laughs> so he had this Dragon's Lair sign. And then these two are my little guardian tigers <laughs> named uh, Pear and T. Yep. Okay, and now the moment that you're probably waiting for. I'll show off my tarot space. Okay, so now I am in my bedroom, and this is where I keep my tarot decks and a bunch of books. So I guess I'll just sort of slowly try to come over and show. I'll show off the books first. Um, this is just like one of my bookshelves. I have a lot more in the living room. <laughs> um, here is a lion that I've had since I was a little kiddo. Um, and then the books are sort of loosely organized, mostly by vibe <laughs> rather than anything else. I have some fancy older books and classics and some stuff up top, a few stray tarot decks that are large. Um, I've got tarot and magic books. Um, other other books. <laughs> Beyond this, there's not really much of a a categorization system. They're all just ones that seem like they kind of go together. And I've got this chair, which is right in front of the window, and it can swivel around. And I've got some goth boots over there just hanging out, and a big radiator, so I can sit and be all nice and cozy with the bookshelf. Okay, <laughs> and now this is my tarot desk. So, first off, um, these are... Um, my my dog down here, that's Loki, who I showed you earlier. And this is my partner's childhood dog. Um, his name was Stupid. <laughs> Lovingly, his name was Stupid. <laughs> um, and these were these were done by Ollie Froge, who is a, a tremendous artist and the creator of the Dungeons and Doggies zine. And so they did it as like a um you know RPG, <laughs> RPG doggies, um, because they are still protecting us from the beyond. Um, this fancy looking broom was given to me by my cousin. This poster is just another poster that my grandma had that I just loved so much, so I right now keep it on my tarot desk. Um, and this dragon was also hers. She was Year of the Dragon, and she loved that very much. This is just like a random tarot notebook that honestly I don't really use that much anymore, but I just keep readings in there sometimes. Um, candle that I don't really light, even though I have a candle lighter here. Some random bones. These are teeth from an actual lion. Um, it was done as a fundraiser after the lion passed away. Um, sometimes I put cards up here. I do like having cards up here. I like the look of it, but honestly, I just get, I just hate having to put individual cards away and leave like an individual card out. I do it anyway, <laughs> but that's from the Lost Hollow Tarot. And I'm just using like a regular folding chair right now. So I'll move that out of the way. And then this is the, um, the big thing. This is a, like, little kid-sized secretary desk or something that I got from a thrift store. And so if you kind of push the bottom here, it comes down into a desk. And I have more tarot decks in here. So this is really excellent. It's a perfect amount of space. It's not too much. It's not too little. It doesn't go too far into the room. It's great for tarot reading. It's a little bit hard to film on. You know, I kind of have to jerry-rig the camera to get it right, um, but that's okay. I really like it. And then here I've got just... The, the way that I've organized my tarot decks is, again, mostly by aesthetics and by feeling than any clear organization system. So it's not like these are the ones that I use the most often. Um, 
they're just kind of here. <laughs> but yeah, I have some up here. I've got my hidden forest <laughs> oracle hidden in the drawer. And then in this one, I have the uh, little white books that I actually like to reference for uh, certain decks. The so ones that I would be interested in potentially reading what they have to say while I'm doing a reading. I'll put this back up for now. And as you can see, like when, okay, when this folds down, it's easier to grab at these. So I guess I'll just kind of hold it like this. Uh, <laughs> this is one row of tarot decks. And this is two row of tarot decks, which is on this cool like magazine holding thing down here. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty full right now. I could definitely start doubling up back there, but I don't want to. I, I mean, I probably am going to have to <laughs> at some point, but uh, yeah, I just like being able to see everything at once and not even see everything at once because, you know, I know stuff is is back there when I do double double up. I've done different organization systems where I've doubled up at various times, like putting one in, one deck in front of the other one. Um, it's just like annoying for me to have to take it out, you know. But yeah, that is my tarot reading space. And I've hit the bed, so hang on, I gotta go, gotta go back around this way. <laughs> yeah, so that's my that's my tarot space and my art space and a couple bonus little magical spaces in my house. And I am so happy to be able to share them with you. I am honestly like so thrilled about my current apartment here. While I'm here, I'll show you this really cool big tapestry that we have over our bed because <laughs> it makes for kind of a good outro. Yeah. Um, I just feel like I'm so happy in my current place because I can actually put up all this art that I have, I can express myself and take up as much space as I want to. Um, I'm living with my partner by myself for the first time. Uh, basically the first time. It's a long story. Um, but we've, we've had a lot of roommates before and now I've had, I have this, own, my, have the whole house now. I can put up art wherever I want and decorate wherever I want and, you know, make special little spaces wherever I want. And that's very, I'm very honored and grateful that I am at that point in my life right now. So thanks for letting me share, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.